So, um, what the fuck are you supposed to be? Isn't it obvious? No. Man, it sure was nice of the boss to plan this whole party for us. Yeah, this totally excuses him of not paying us for all these months. So, G, my boy, who are you supposed to be? I'm Sans. Like the guy from Undertale? No, no, no. The skeleton. <laughs> Wait, you're Sans? Oh, come on! I win as Sans! What's his problem? He's Sans. Dear yeah, God, no! So is the boss coming tonight? I don't know. Let me check. Uh, he's not picking up. Wait, you have the boss's phone number? No. Alright everybody, time for some spooky stories. Waho. And then, when he went to the pizza shop, there was no pizza. Didn't he go after hours? Well, yeah, but what does that have to do with anything? Oh, I got one. One time, I was having cereal, and when I walked to the fridge, there was no milk. Dude, seriously, that's not scary. No, you didn't let me finish. There was no milk because I drank it! Oh man, that's even scarier than the time I saw Bart Simpson. So, does anyone else have any spooky stories? Oh, I got this one. <clears throat> there was once a man that went to a Halloween party, and he was dressed up as a stupid cat. He got stabbed, and it was Nate. Nate is dead. Nate is dead! Nate is dead! Nate is fucking dead! Wow, Michael, that was a horrible story. Shame on you. Well, sorry, I was just telling you guys what just happened. That's still a pretty bad story, Michael. Quick, is anybody here a doctor? I'm dressed up as a doctor. That'll work! Hmm. Yeah, he's dead. Who could do such a thing? I'd assume most murderers would. So, does that mean there's a murderer here? Alright, that's it. I'm not just gonna wait here and be murdered by one of you murderers! I'm out of here! Since when was there a locked door here? Since now, apparently. What the hell? That usually works. Oh yeah, we ordered reinforced windows a week ago because they kept on breaking. Wait, does that mean we're trapped in here? Yeah, pretty much. Oh great, I got a place to be, and I can't be there if I'm fucking dead! Like what? Well, my pet goldfish is gonna die tomorrow. Oh, so what? You're gonna murder him? Like a murderer would? No, it's not that. You see, about seven days ago, my vet said that he only had a week left to live. Wouldn't that mean he dies today? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six... No! Not Mr. Periwinkles! Oh shit. I'm I'm sorry for your loss, man. Don't worry, we'll all be joining him soon. Alright everyone, I've devised a silly little plan to capture that murderer. What I've decided is that we'll all split up into groups of three to find this killer, so it makes us less likely we'll all get murdered at once. Wouldn't that just make it easier for the killer to kill all of us? Shut up. Hey, you guys know I'm a detective, right? No, you're not. Well, if I'm not a detective, then why do I have the hat? Uh, probably because you bought it from the costume store. Well, that still makes me two times a detective you'll ever be, considering I'm the one with the hat. Oh yeah, and try not to die on the carpet. We had a clean three days ago. I'll try my best. I never make promises. You know what they say. What do they say? Like I'd ever tell you, murderer!
Guys, guys, relax. Why would you want to be murdered on such a nice day? Hold on. Michael, didn't you say you saw Nate getting murdered? Yeah, I did. What about it? Then, did you see who the murderer was? No, because I blinked. Wait, you mean to tell us that you saw Nate alive and the second you blink, he's dead? I blink really slowly. <laughs> oh no, that sounds like Goonie. Let's go check it out. Well, there is a murderer on the loose. However, I do need a few more Atari 2600s, just in case if any of my other 20 break. Goonie, what the fuck happened? I got a pebble in my shoe, man. We ran all this way for nothing? Yeah, pretty much. Goonie, what the hell is your problem? There's a murderer on the loose. <laughs> at least I still have the hat. And at least nobody died. And at least I still have the hat. We should probably do a head count real quick, just to make sure everyone's here. Uh, wait a second. Where's Michael? Oh, there he is. God damn it, Michael. Looks like he's gotten one of our oversized mousetraps that we use to capture oversized rats. Okay, that's it. I've had it. Why don't we just call the cops already? We can't, you idiot. They're all trick-or-treating. Oh, really? At least they're having a good time. We're all going to fucking die! Oh, nice. Good for us. So guys, there's been a few murders, and by that I mean one, but it's actually multiple if you think about it. Come on, you guys, the joke isn't funny anymore. Please, just cut it out. We have to get on with this rest of this stupid Halloween party. I believe in a world where you can go to a Halloween party and not get murdered, because last night... Mmm, do I smell pie? Hey, look at all the pie! Did anyone else just hear a gunshot? Most likely, it did sound like a gunshot after all. Aw oh, man, I thought someone slipped and subsequently fell. See, I told you! Another victim taken by the pie room. We should really board this place up. Boss says we can't afford it. How could we- Wait a minute, has anyone seen Ozzy? Eh, he's probably fine. Alright guys, let's stick together like we should have done in the first place. Well, I could use another half of the collection. You're not even wearing a hat! Oh, but I am! Get the fuck out of here! Fine, have fun dying, you losers. We won't, but thanks for your consideration. Wait, dying? Oh, hey, Cookies, where were you? Oh, I was watching Pine Tree and Jewel Boy getting crushed by a big rock. Did they live? No. Wait a minute. If we were here, and you were there, and they were there, and they died over there, and you didn't die over there, but we were over here, and you were over there, then that means... That means you're the murderer! Hang on, hang on. I would never murder anyone. It's rude, and corpses smell bad. And how come you know they died? Listen, everyone, calm the fuck down. I have an idea on how we can solve this once and for all. Eeny, meeny, money. You! <laughs> I did it. I solved the mystery. Now we don't just go home, take it easy. I know we'll watch all our friends get murdered, but the police will do a little bit eventually. Oh, much gonna stop. Wait. If you just murdered Legend and everyone else is dead. And I never killed anyone, and you murdered Legend, that means... That, that means... That means you're the murderer! I prefer the term, murdery. That's not even... <sighs> never mind. Why would you do this? Well, you see, ever since I was a wee lad, I've always wanted to go to a company-funded Halloween party dressed up as Sans Undertale. What do you mean? You had three other opportunities to do this! Last year, you won a SpongeBob! I forgot. But after waiting for so long, that son of a bitch took my Sans costume! I was supposed to be Sans! Me! So you decided the most logical thing to do was to kill everyone in the office out of spite? Yeah, pretty much. Also, I kinda have to kill you now, so like, you know, you don't alert the authorities. Oh no, you don't gotta do that. I can relate to your story. I do most things in my life out of spite. 
Well, after killing eight people, the authorities can't really let that slide. Wait, did I say eight? Make that nine! Oh, there you are, Ozzy. Well, you forgot one thing, Valentine. I still have the hat. This better be important. You interrupted our trick-or-treating. You see, officer, this man right here killed all my friends. Crazy, right? Wait, no, officer, you see, uh, he tried, uh, um, I did, uh, uh he, uh, um... <sighs> You're coming with us, kid. Sup, gamers, sorry I'm late, I have to do some things with my wife. What the fuck happened here? The end, and that's my story. Cookies, that was a fucking horrible story.